The scriptures God has given Christians in the Bible and in modern revelation clearly teach the need for a church. Both show that Jesus Christ organized a church and contemplated that a church would carry on his work after him. He called 12 apostles and gave them authority and keys to direct it. The Bible teaches that Christ is the head of the church and that its officers were given for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. Church attendance can open our hearts and sanctify our souls. In a church, we don't just serve alone or at our own choice or convenience. We usually serve in a team. In service, we find heaven-sent opportunities to rise above the individualism of our age. Church-directed service helps us overcome the personal selfishness that can retard our spiritual growth. In church, we associate with wonderful people striving to serve God. We all need associations with others, and church associations are some of the best we can experience for us and our companions and children. We testify that the restored Church of Jesus Christ has been established to teach the fullness of His doctrine and to officiate with His priesthood authority to perform the ordinances necessary to enter the kingdom of God. In addition to feeling peace and joy through the companionship of the Spirit, our church attending members enjoy the fruits of gospel living, such as the blessings of living the word of wisdom and the material and spiritual prosperity promised for living the law of tithing. We also have the blessing of counsel from inspired leaders. Crowning all of this are the authoritative priesthood ordinances necessary for eternity, including the sacrament we receive each Sabbath day. I remind all that we do not believe that good can only be accomplished through a church. Independent of the church, we see millions of people supporting and carrying out innumerable good works. Despite the good works that can be accomplished without a church, the fullness of doctrine and its saving and exalting ordinances are available only in the restored church. In addition, church attendance gives us strength and enhancement of faith that comes from associating with other believers and worshiping together with those who are also striving to stay on the covenant path and be better disciples of Christ. I pray that we will all be steadfast in these church experiences as we seek eternal life, the greatest of all the gifts of God.